give yourself another perspective on your life and remind yourself that there are things to enjoy and there are things that you like about your life even if you're in a difficult season at the moment. Hello, welcome. In this video, we're talking about how to enjoy life more, how to not hate your life. I wanted to give you some like practical steps, just little things you can do to make your day a bit better, particularly if you struggle at work. This was kind of the inspiration <laughs> for this video. Ways to enjoy your life more. Let's start with work, as I mentioned it there, and it is such a big part of people's lives. It can be difficult to enjoy your life outside of work. If you're constantly thinking about work, you probably don't even want me bringing it up in this video. <laughs> I have found that my mindset influences my approach to work a lot. Now, this is not to say that everything is to do with your mindset. Clearly, there are things that are outside of your control in terms of your work environment or the people that you're working with, and you could do all of the work possible on yourself and really set yourself up for success in terms of your mindset and you can still go into work and like feel completely deflated because of the environment but i want to highlight it here to encourage you to do all that you can and to not just like passively sit back and be like this is just how it is but instead try and do something new switch things up so that you can enjoy your life more simple mindset shifts like thinking to yourself positive affirming thoughts like i can do this or i can do difficult things i'm able to tackle things head on my colleagues support me my boss explains things well i've talked about scripting before on my channel sometimes i script about work because that's what i need and all of those positive like affirming thoughts can replace things like this is really difficult i can't do this i'm really struggling that's not to negate any struggles that you might be having but just trying to update your mindset a bit. I don't want to spend too long on this. This is not about like enjoy work more. This is enjoy life more and work is not life. I've recently read this book Sedated, which I think everyone should read. I get really into whatever books I'm reading, but this one specifically is talking about like the effect capitalism has on mental health and it's really staggering. So let's not dwell on work any longer and move on to more fun things like romanticizing your life. This is like small things that you can do. And I've done a few videos about this. So you can look at them if you want to hear more about this. Romanticize your commute, put on a certain soundtrack, put on your audiobook, read your library book on the tube, pretend like you're in a film, document your life. That's a really easy way to romanticize your life. So instead of just looking out the window or listening to your music, looking at your book as your train is pulling into London, instead like take a video on your phone and like imagine what it would be like if you were a tourist. Imagine if this was like the first time your train is coming into London and you're looking at all of the buildings, you're like, wow, try and get like outside of your own perspective that will help you romanticize your life more. Get used to focusing on the little things. I talk about this a lot on my channel. It is a really big thing. I have a whole series where we go through little things to focus on and appreciate because it can make your life so much better. I wanna bring it up here because it is another way that you can enjoy life more. It doesn't require anything of you in terms of buying things. The little things approach is about looking at what's around you and noticing what you don't normally notice, kind of linked with romanticizing your life like we just talked about. Right now, if I, in this moment, I wanna notice the little things. It's noticing things that you would ordinarily miss or that you wouldn't necessarily appreciate because you might take them for granted so within my eye line right now I can see a plant that my mum got me when I came out of rehab so that is always there and it's very easy for that to blend into the background but I'm really grateful for that and for what it symbolizes I can notice my fairy lights my vision board my degree on the wall these things I can take for granted they're such little things I already have them noticing those things giving them a moment reminds me of how lucky I am and how grateful I feel. Another easy way to enjoy life more is to get to know yourself better. This is really easy to do through things like journaling. I've got my journal here. <laughs> I talk about journaling a lot on my channel. I have several videos about journaling. I love it so much and it's helpful for like literally anything. <laughs> I seem to bring it up in almost every video because it can really help in whatever situation, whether you want to be more reflective, whether you are dealing with like negative feelings towards a certain person because of the way they treated you, whether you want to build gratitude and build your appreciation for the little things and your ability to notice these things, or in this instance, whether you want to get to know yourself better and enjoy life more, journaling is a fantastic tool for that. Just start writing about your life and then look back on that after a week say of writing every day, look back on what you picked out and you might be surprised. You might think, huh, I focus a lot on my commute or I focus a lot on the trees as I'm walking around, the nature in, in your area. You might just be writing about like, I really enjoyed my walk. And you might know that you like going on these walks and that they're good for your mental health. But if you see at the end of the week, the pattern of you consistently bringing this up, you may be aware of how important that is, but you may not. And you may be thinking, oh, 
I didn't realize that walking helped me so much, but I've written about it literally every day. Same with like, if you struggle with executive function and you've noticed that after you journal for a week, you keep writing about like, I had a really good day today and was like able to shower in the morning or like I brush my teeth, like whatever you're highlighting as you're journaling, when you reflect on it, that's telling you something about yourself, about what helps you, about how you can have a better week next week. So journaling is really key. You could also write about your interests, like just start making lists of things. That can be quite a fun thing to do. Like make a list of every TV show you've ever watched from memory or like try and think of all of the books that have had a really big impact on you. Write about them, make a list of them and write maybe like one sentence about why you remember this book and what the main takeaway for you is. Just get to know yourself better. You could start like experimenting with fashion. Every day challenge yourself to wear something different instead of wearing the same thing every day, which is what I can tend to do because it, you know, it's functional and it's comfortable. So I'm like, well, yes, I will wear this jumper again, <laughs> but maybe give yourself a challenge of wear something different every day or try and pick out something from your wardrobe that you don't wear very often and look at it and be like, why don't I wear this? And maybe if you tr try and wear it for a day, you'll be like, oh yeah, I remembered why I don't wear this. The material is really itchy or it makes me feel really hot. This is why I don't wear this. And then you can like get rid of that thing, introduce like new small things using what you have and this will help you get to know yourself a bit better. Consider taking up a new hobby. Do you wanna like try and join a football team? Do you want to find like an online book club that you could join? Can you see if like your family or your roommate or whoever has a puzzle, like I, <laughs> I found this puzzle that I got for my birthday a couple of years ago and I thought, I'd really love it and I've managed to do some of the edges and now it's been sat on my floor for a week and it's like oh I thought I would like doing a puzzle but you know maybe I maybe that's not me that's fine <laughs> maybe you want to try doing like collages maybe you can make like a digital vision board and use Canva to make a vision board of all these images I did a video recently about how to achieve your 2024 goals before the end of the year make a vision board around whatever goal you want to achieve start trying different things and that leads us on to the next thing, which is to try things and fail. There's two parts to this. <laughs> the first point of doing this is that it helps you to rule things out. Maybe you try joining a football club or you try running or you try going to the gym, you try doing a puzzle and you don't like it. You're like, okay, well, that's fine. We move on. So materially, it's gonna help you identify what you like, who you are, how you can enjoy your life more, like what things add value to your life specifically because everybody is different. But the second point of trying things and failing is that it shows you that failure is not that scary. Like there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with, oh, I tried this puzzle and I can't do it. And I know that's quite like a low stakes thing. That's not like I tried to set up my own business and it failed within a year. That is a lot bigger. But even that, that's not necessarily a failure. I have this mindset about failure that I've adopted ever since I've started doing new things. The only way that you're gonna fail is if you don't try. I I know a lot of people said that before but it's like one of those things that you have to live through and like realize oh my gosh yes that is very true but if you just sit back all the time and you're not trying these things maybe you want to start a youtube channel or you want to start a blog or you want to start writing you want to start an instagram account about like your art but you're scared of doing it because you're scared of failing you're missing out there because even if you were to fail at any of that stuff you will still have gained valuable experience from doing that and you may have even met some people so yeah maybe your business fails after a year but through doing that you've met people in your community who are going to help you start a new business or like you just made some new friends or even if none of that you've tried something new and you've learned lessons from that it's really important this also adds like an element of challenge and of like doing something new of novelty which is really important if you want to try and enjoy your life a bit more as well another key thing is to accept where you are acceptance is a daily practice is something you can work on every day you don't arrive at a point and you've suddenly like i am accepting everything now and then the work stops that's not going to happen it's a daily thing of accepting where you're at and on some days that's easier than other days but this is like kind of embracing the idea of the path of least resistance and like the buddhist idea that you suffer because you can't accept things so you're causing your own suffering or like making things worse because you're fighting against your circumstances like you may be going through something horrible but you're adding more to it because you're really angry and you're unwilling to accept it and that's not to say that you can't be angry there's so much nuance to this you can be angry about it but you can also accept it and just because you accept something that doesn't mean that you condone it or that you think that it's okay but you're accepting it for like your own health for your own sanity you're like okay i'm, I'm in this situation and i hate it but i can accept it even whilst i also rail against it in a way it's like this really delicate balance of not letting a circumstance like dictate your mood and i know that in certain instances this is going to be easier to do 
than others but if you can just try and build acceptance in in small ways every day in terms of maybe you've tried some new hobbies and you're a bit disappointed because you were like oh I really wanted to like be good at the rowing machine in the gym like I thought that was going to be my thing and it's not you can just work on accepting who you are or like <laughs> you tried to do a puzzle or you tried to do like art or drawing you wanted to do more reading and it's just not sticking and you're not actually that interested in it and you're kind of a bit disappointed you're like oh I wish I was more like creative or I wish I was more intellectual or whatever just accept where you are like you can work on acceptance in those small things of like okay apparently this is who I am that's okay like everyone is different and this is me <laughs> and I think it can help if you are struggling and you are listening to me talk about acceptance and you're like mm, no I don't want to accept this at least what's helped me in the past when I'm in that season of really struggling whether it's with my mental health or with my circumstances to remember the the phrase nothing blooms all year flowers have their seasons I know like evergreen trees they're like that all year and other trees like they lose their leaves so you could be like well why can't I be an evergreen tree which is always fine take what is useful to you right if this is not useful then disregard it <laughs> but I I find it helpful to remember that nothing blooms all year and while I can have seasons of being productive or being really creative it's okay if I'm in a season of just wanting to sit and watch tv I can keep an eye on that because maybe those behaviors are ones that I don't want to continue and like build a routine with over a period of weeks but if that's a few days where I'm feeling rubbish and I don't feel like doing anything as much as I may want to feel motivated you may want to feel energized when you're like that you can still accept okay this is where I'm at this is the season I'm in something will change better things are coming linked with acceptance and kind of something that will help you build more acceptance is gratitude because if you are grateful for your situation or grateful for various things even if you're not overall grateful for where you're at if you can still pick out things to be grateful for that's going to help you build acceptance because you're acknowledging your situation acknowledging whatever aspects of your life and being like okay things may be difficult but like I still do have fundamentally quite a lot to be grateful for I would recommend doing a daily gratitude list because this will help you start noticing small things to be grateful for and I would really urge you to keep doing this like at the beginning it may feel a bit pointless or it may feel a bit contrived and you might be like okay I'm writing this gratitude list but I'm not actually feeling more grateful but what I found is after I did this for like weeks like maybe three weeks consistently every day just writing a really short list like it could, it only takes like a couple minutes to do this after that time once I got used to it I started noticing that I was able to think of things more readily to be grateful for and also more importantly I felt that so I felt how grateful I was to have had nice food today whereas before maybe I was just writing like grateful for my meals or grateful for a nice dinner and it was kind of just like a, a thing I was thinking as opposed to feeling after however much time of doing this every day I suddenly started like connecting the feeling with the thought so I was like oh yes I am grateful so it might take like a, a couple of weeks but it's only going to be like a minute or so of writing your list and if you do that every day you will see really big results and it will help you shift your mindset kind of effortlessly in that way because you're only doing like a minute long gratitude list every day and that's going to help you to hate your life less and enjoy your life more. I have a couple videos about gratitude journaling so I will link one of them because I highly urge you to do this if you're going to pick one thing from the list to explore for yourself I would highly recommend gratitude journaling life-changing. Another thing is to focus on your community, your relationships, your friendships, spend more time with people and it's really difficult because if you're in a season of feeling like really low or you low-key like hate your life at the moment at least I can find I have a tendency to isolate myself in that situation and really that's making things worse I find because when I am able even if I show up like particularly it's great to do this with family because there's no pressure to show up in a certain way and maybe we put too much pressure on ourselves to show up in certain ways sometimes I feel like I can't go see my friends because I'm like I'm not wearing makeup or I'm not doing this and it's like maybe I'm I'm putting that on me right like my friends aren't expecting me to show up like that but I'm thinking that but especially with family if you are close with your family or you're able to show up and just like be there like you don't have to say anything if you're feeling terrible or if you're feeling really low but just like be around other people and it helps you to reconnect to those people who do really care about you even if you don't say anything being around them and trying to make time for that every day I'm an introvert and I do find it difficult sometimes to push myself to spend time with other people because I really am very content by myself trying and failing to do my puzzle reading my books like writing going for walks by myself listening to podcasts I love being by myself because that's like part of my nature but I do notice a big change if I am or am not socializing even just for like half an hour so do try and speak to other people 
that you really care about and connect with not just like surface conversations those are really important as well it's important to have like a variety of interactions throughout our day but it's also important to try and build like community find friends where you live I'm still in the process of trying to do this it's sort of an ongoing thing when you're in your 20s there's all sorts of things happening people coming and going moving traveling it's really exciting but it can also be quite disorienting and it's okay if you feel that but if you want to try and enjoy things more maybe consider trying to find some friends locally or just spending more time with the people that you live with or the people who you are already close to it will make a difference another way to enjoy your life i think this helps to stay present is to document your life so i mentioned if you want to romanticize your life a really easy way to do that is to document your life document your experiences what you're doing like the boring mundane realities of every day just take a video of what you're doing it's going to help you notice little things as well that you may not have noticed already if you're like creatively minded you could start like making little vlogs just for yourself like sometimes i do this where i'm like this video isn't for anyone else it's just for me either i do a sit down video like this just talking out my thoughts because i find it helpful or like put together a little vlog of like this is what i did today you can do it really easily in instagram like in the app you don't have to download anything else i'm assuming maybe you have instagram if you don't well done because that can be quite damaging in terms of comparison if you're not like curating your feed but it is quite easy to make like a reel you can teach yourself to do it or there are plenty of videos and say like throughout your day you're going to be like i'm going to make a mini vlog just for me like if you want to post it that's great but otherwise just to like create something for you because that is a really important way to enjoy life more as well is to be creative and that's what sort of been threaded through this entire video but with that in mind take clips of your day like film the view out of your window film you making your bed film like your morning cup of coffee film walking down the high street eating your lunch like just little clips and you can put them together into a reel put your favorite music in the background it's gonna help you appreciate every day like just the little things that you do and be like oh yeah i am really grateful for that cup of coffee like i do go to that same place every day or i do make the same cup of coffee at home i make it all the time but actually yeah seeing it and putting this nice like music in the background put your favorite song in the background or you could try doing a voiceover <laughs> but otherwise you could pick like whatever song you're listening to a lot at the moment put that as the background music and you can look at that and then be like wow like this was my day i do have things little things to be grateful for and i can appreciate these little things documenting your life again journaling can come into that write a list of what you did who you saw what you were wearing take photos of your outfit you don't even have to do a reel if you don't want you could do like 10 photos take 10 photos throughout the day and then like write or add text on each one and say like how you're feeling or what you were doing anything to like get creative and kind of give yourself another perspective on your life and remind yourself that there are things to enjoy and there are things that you like about your life even if you're in a difficult season at the moment i hope some of these things have inspired you please comment below the one that stuck out to you most are you going to try gratitude journaling are you going to write about your day make a reel document your life are you going to try some new hobbies put yourself out there socially i mentioned quite a lot which one stuck out to you the most please share in the comments I will let YouTube pick a video that it thinks that you will enjoy and I will also leave one of my little things episodes on the screen. It is such a life-changing thing and I hope it can help you too. I will also leave links in the description to other videos that I think you might like. I've done, like I said, ones about romanticizing your life, about creativity. All of those will be in the description if you wanna watch some more from me. I really hope this helped you. God bless, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>